Hi guys, welcome to the video number 305. My name is Ajay and in this video we are going to talk about the event and uh, plus how you can use the intersect in the target. What, what do you know, what do you understand by the intersect in the target word in the Excel VBA? Many of you have requested me about the intersect. They want to understand what is this intersect function. So let, let me go ahead and tell you about that and we would uh, we would be going ahead and using the EVB events for that right so if you're watching the channel for the first time we have three three hundred and five videos actually and you can enjoy all these videos simply go and click on the playlist and you will find here different 42 playlist which has all the videos on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA from the beginning we have the videos on the beginning uh, for the beginners we have the videos for the uh, intermediate users and also for the advanced level uh, people who really think that they know the Excel VBA very well so you will find everything there in that playlist now today I want to tell you one thing uh, I have talked about this in the Excel VBA events as well if you go ahead and check out this uh, I uploaded a video on this that what are the events basic levels if you don't have any idea please uh, maybe you can pause the video and you you can actually go ahead and you know check out this video first right what are the events actually in the Excel VBA so uh, today I'm going to uh, give you one example that how events are very useful and also we would like to discuss the intersect and the target uh, the term which we use in the VBA now guys uh, for example uh, this is a table I'm going to highlight it so now you see that this table is uh, has a range uh, from E2 to uh, I7 okay now what we want to do is in any situation in any situation if you want to capture that any value somebody writes here in this you know that should be popped up okay for example if I write something here and I press enter you know the blank value is now changed to T right or if I write here 5 that means there is something change happened in the cell right and you want to capture that value for example right how will you do that but at the same time we have a condition and the condition is that if the change is happening only in this you know yellow range then you should be able to you know uh, pop up the value you should be able to retrieve the value or whatever you want to do right right now I am not going to really make of any any macro that for example if there is a change happens then the email goes to your manager or something you know sort of that very dynamic thing can happen uh, we will be talking about that in the coming video but right now I just want to make uh, it very simple that any changes if it had happens in this within this range which is e2 to i7 then you should you want to you know target a specific macro and if a change happens any anywhere outside this range you know something else should happen so how are you going to do that so basically my target is if the change happens in the range called e2 to i2 trigger macro one and if the change happens anywhere else don't trigger anything okay now to do this you are you can't do this by simply going to the you know developer tab and inserting a module because modules are the standardized modules they control the entire workbook right and moreover they control they, they run when you want them to run so in this case uh, we want to have a condition that automatically if something change changes here in this range a macro should trigger so that's what I was talking about you know event VBA event events are those which are self triggered guys okay uh, if you if you if, if you have given a criteria and that criteria matches then the macro will run for example workbook open you want to write a macro that whenever the workbook gets open the macro should fire they 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 should not wait for your click they should not wait for your button that you user is going to click on the button and then you know it should happen no it's a criteria based right so same thing we want to do so what you need to do now this is a sheet 2 so I'm gonna click on the double sheet 2 okay because we are going to uh, write this code within the sheet 2 because this is specific to sheet 2 only I don't want to write anywhere else okay now then you click on this worksheet from the top this would use you would see here worksheet selection change well these are all the even guys all the events right for example if the sheet activates what happen if the sheet before delete if you want to delete the sheet do you want to run any macro you want to maybe create a ba back off of that sheet or calculate you know deactivate change so many things are there right now I'm going to focus on the change I select the change okay so you remove this now in this you see that generally you write the macro when you write the macro you write sub and sub you know but here automatically these are the pre-written macros 
okay so that means that worksheet underscore change by val target as range now target is a word which i was talking about okay i'll tell you what exactly it means for example first of all let me tell you what is target so if you write if you write here message box target dot address okay let's say this is what you have written now i want to put the break code here now this is a worksheet change worksheet change means that any change happens if within this sheet this macro will run for example right now if i write here three and i press enter the moment you press enter what will happen you have changed a blank cell to three right and you can see that the macro is running right now when i run this see what happens you get to see a target cell the address of the target cell which is c8 because c8 is changed right so this is a very useful option guys target okay target means the cell which is which you have targeted which you have changed right similarly you can also i mean there are different different uh, uh, properties associated with this target for example you can also capture the row number okay and if i if i write if i again press let's say enter the moment i press enter now nothing happens why can can again any of you tell me that why the macro is not running i'm trying to press enter why it is not running yes if you if you if you think that because there is no change in the value you are absolutely right right because 3 is already there and if you press enter who cares there is no change in the value right but if you go ahead and write 34 now there is a change from 3 to 34 and you will have the change here okay so once you have the change here look at this now you got the cell as c8 because c8 was the one and you got the also the row number which is 8 similarly you can also use the you know the column if you want to find the column number of that this is what exactly it is okay so this is your target cell now let's go ahead and talk about the intersect point so let me just comment this out now if my task was as i was telling you earlier that if anything you write here anything you change here it should not affect at all if anything you change here then the macro should run so we want to basically find in this range so that's why we use the intersect word that if your target is going to intersect you know if it is going to intersect with this range then i'm gonna call my macro right what do you mean by intersect by the way guys intersect is what this is intersect like this is your column key and this is row number four where they are intersecting they're intersecting here this is the point which is your k4 and this is what exactly we want to say if i'm going to do any change here i'm going to see that if this is going to intersect with this range right so that's what is all about the intersect but how are you going to write in the vba that's what i'm going to tell you so we will write here that if intersect you start with this intersect right argument one what is your argument one well argument one is my target okay target means your cell right if that is going to intersect with my range which is range you're going to write in the argument 2 so this is uh, going to be e2 to um i i guess i7 i7 all right so if that is going to intersect so then um, i mean how how are you going to write it is nothing then then what should happen then message box i write here not a part of yellow range else message box part of range i'm not gonna run any macro right over here right you can i mean you can call any macro from here but this is just a basic video i want to give you understanding on the intersect now why i have written is nothing understand so i'm saying that if the target which i'm going to select the cell and i'm going to change the value there if that is not a part of this which means that if it is nothing that means we should say that not a part of yellow range okay let me give you uh, let us go ahead and uh, right away run this so i'm going to write here 77 so that means that there's a change the empty cell is now converted to a filled value which is 77 okay so you have the error block if without if okay i'm sorry i should have written here and if all right now let's run this look at this what is your target your target is 77 so 77 is a part of this range you know that it is so it should go where 
it should go to the else mode right because you have written is nothing but it is something right so part of a range perfect and if and if i go ahead and write here 88 now let's have a look it should say that not a part of yellow range right oh i'm so sorry let me run this again 99 f8 and there we go do you understand the difference now right it says not not a part of yellow range so guys this is very very powerful thing you can use it in uh, you know many ways like for example I, i'll just give you the example on this um somebody uh, uh i mean one of my subscribers surinder he has uh, sent out this email to me i had just uploaded a video which is uh, i think the video number 304 i believe this is the video number 305 yeah watch that 304 video in that 304 video uh, what i have talked about is that how you can restrict the users by entering the you know the if if, if the pl is already if you have already two pl sanctioned then the third pl should not come for example if i, if I write here pl it is approved if this person also gets the pl if this person try to get the you know leave then this is what exactly it's happening it says that the pl is already done for the day so how i did that that's an entirely different thing watch out for that video but what i'm trying to say is you can also send the email using this which i'm going to talk about in my next video right that whenever you enter pl and if it is approved then immediately the mail goes right so we can use this kind of a technique here that if the pl enters here because if, if somebody writes here pl then the mail should not go it doesn't make any sense maybe somebody is just trying to do some calculation and they have written something here or maybe uh, somebody uh, writes something here and so you want to trigger a mail of course not right so you want to trigger a mail only if something you know some change happens here in this range so that's the kind of example you know you can use it right so that's your intersect that's your target they are very useful and they they are when when you combine them with these events they become so so powerful right so thank you so much and i hope uh, you also have enjoyed this video as i actually enjoyed because this was a fantastic learning for me also right and uh, guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe and i will see you soon thank you so much bye bye